turn 36. Let's just quickly do the events here. We could trade off courage for discipline or trade off discipline for courage. Um, it's not really a big deal either way. I think I'd rather have the discipline, honestly. Um, I think so. Um, courage isn't that big a deal. And it's, yeah, 10, basically. Money is much more useful. Other event, um, one of our courtiers died. Very sad, but at least he tutored our kids. And then Astyagis has a choice of diplomat or builder. I'm going to go with builder. He can be a great chancellor. He's got three wisdom. Um, yeah. So, other news. Carthage has abdicated with their king. They, knew, they have a new ruler who is a tactician. And I don't think I've seen too many tacticians in games that I've had on this channel. So it's worth noting that tacticians have this very interesting thing that ranged units are hidden in friendly or neutral trees. So he abdicated largely because, um, I guess, might as well. Um, it's something he could do. He, his units are now hidden in the trees. My scout got bumped here, so I know that he has at least a unit here. Uh, and this unit disappeared, presumably. Uh, I don't know where it went. And he's moving this elite nomad warlord close as well. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and resolve events. We will take the discipline. We will have our sun go builder. Um, and then we will start the pyramids because we have enough money to do so. So that's great. Um, over here, we'll chop and chop. We should be able to start the racks next turn in Parsa because we now have stone available. I'll move this scout up here. I'll move this scout. Um, I'll move that unit there. Uh, I'm just trying to bump units out of I'm moving that scout there because I want to bump his unit back as much as possible. And then I'll upgrade this one and rally is landing next turn. So I should be able to upgrade it again next turn. I'll move some units back here. I can't attack without visibility. Uh, I'll again similarly try to bump his units around and then move this guy here. Next turn, I'm going to have a worker. I'm going to come aggressively chop, clear cut everything I can because um, I need visibility. I cannot have him sneaking up on me. Similarly, in the north, we'll need to do that. Uh, we will have him marry into clerics as well. And yeah, we definitely want to clear cut here as well. So I think I took a note here. Yeah, chop aggressively outside Susa. Chop aggressively outside Bactra. 37. Very glad we got pyramids as well. That's great. Um, basically chopping aggressively. So, and yeah, we want to start racks in Parsa. Turn 37. Right there. While chopping. So yeah, we, we need to clear, clear cut, essentially, all this crap. Um, the borders expansion will help as well, um, potentially. So that, yeah, but yeah. So his units are hidden for now. This thing, there's one here, but like this is a melee unit. It could deal nine damage to this guy. This guy's going to retreat. Um, can deal six damage to this guy. And the other guys can deal like one. He had a slinger um, somewhere. It, I'm going to keep it in the forest. Should be safe there uh, for now. And yeah, I'm just going to delay him taking this camp as long as I can. Uh, I am up 10 to 5 cities, so I just got the pyramids as well. We will be going for Great Zig as well if we can. Apadana is not in the game. Ishtar is also a great possibility, although we definitely need a little more steel before we can get Ishtar. Lighthouse is also great. So definitely uh, need to keep investing in stone. I think that's the biggest difference in this game. I'm really prioritizing getting that early stone upkeep. Um, and I did bungle my uh, opening. So yeah, we'll probably keep rallying just so we can upgrade troops. Um, not too much more to upgrade, just this guy and I guess this new guy. Um, so probably one more rally, maybe two. 
Uh, pyramids will be done in 10 years, and then we can pick up some more laws like slavery uh, and, I guess, vassalage. Spoked wheel will give us a chancellor. We will assign this dude as a chancellor. Uh, that three wisdom will be a sweet, sweet 1.2 growth everywhere, which will be very, very nice, especially since I'm building a bunch of workers to get a lot of economy stuff going. Uh, yeah, I mean, interesting about the tactician abdication. Would not really have expected that, but I guess he needed to hide his units. Uh, he's still not going to be able to really deliver them this way, the ranged ones, because they will become visible. Uh, and my border expansion should maybe connect some stuff here. Uh, I think it's six tiles every city. I don't know. We'll see. Um, my religion has not spread. We're still on five, so nothing to do there. This guy can just sit on the monastery. We've got uh, this guy building one here as well. That will come down here and build these last two, and this guy can build here and here, uh, or here potentially. So, yeah. Um, very interesting turn of events with Tactician. Not really sure what we can do against it. If we were Hati, we could aggressively chop. Um, I don't really know how the unit move around rules work, so hopefully I've bumped some of his units here. That's what I'm hoping. Um, but I don't know. If they're here, can he kill this? Those They're all ranged, so I don't think so. Uh, also, this guy can't get upgraded past four anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, so, yeah. We'll chop aggressively. So... All right, we've got tons of orders, so yeah. Definitely uh, an interesting turn of events. Not much else, I think, to do. Um, definitely want to get some agents. He has centralization, so that city's got a lot of science. Um, yeah. And I think we are pretty close to Porcolis, so we should be able to get border expansion next turn. Um, border boost is in the draw pile, so definitely. And then Porcolis potentially as well. Um, we'll send one of our scouts in so that we can get vision. How are we on agents? We've got a lot of potential agents. Persia's pretty good on the agent front. So yeah, we want to definitely get some agents up. Uh, I think most important is getting into his main city uh, so that we got a lot of these great tactician agents steal some of his science income. Lined up well with succession for a romantic uh, orator behind our current orator. But hopefully she can live for 10 more years to 63. That way we can get this full full value of the ambition um, with 5 legitimacy, or 10 legitimacy instead of 5. And the opinion will be very nice as well for this. All right. Um, that ends this turn. Hopefully we'll get religion spread down here so we can get a monk going and... Um, need this worker to come online. We can start garrisons, all sorts of fun, wonderful things next turn. All right, let's uh, send this one back. And turn 36. Raiders are coming in. He has retreated, kind of. He also pushed this unit away, so I guess his scout moved onto this tile. So, uh, we finished another attack, uh, personal religion, so I uh, can manage to cancel my redo queue. So we're going to do this again from memory, blocking one building, moving in, attacking here. We are, I am moving this unit down. This one down, attacking here. He's upgrading the Peltast back here, but that's still a bit away. Can of course force march. I'm moving the chariot up. Not into here, I think. If we move this here, it's. 5 damage, 2 damage, 2 damage, don't want to take this, so we are keeping him at the back. Here, move the settler forward once, so that we can sneak past here next turn maybe. Uh, this one 
Steel stays here. We are taking steel for the free African elephant. We are taking the religion. Starting a warrior here. We we'll prefer something else, but we can't spare. We need the military units right now. I also love to get some eyes on these other sites. What do I do with those last two orders? I think I moved forward and attacked here. He can only get up to here. He can of course shoot, but let's add another. Is that really the best course of action? Don't have much training to work with. Could rush out another chariot. Is that the right thing to do? Did finish our next specialist. cities is anywhere close to developing so I guess that's it he will see our so Just a let's back this up again. So we are moving through here, but if his scout is in here, I think we just want to make a little break on this tire. And then moving here, moving here. Moving in here and here. Then we have our research and the events. And the warrior. And that's it. We also know that he is not that far behind in science actually. He has 13 text discovered. And we have, ah, uh, that was the wrong button. I wanted the record screen. So we also have 13. But of course, um, yes, monasticism in, in here. So one tick less of his but it's not saying very much of course it also depends how um, deep we've researched compared to him Anyway, I don't think it makes much sense rushing out in our chariot since we don't have the orders to use it anyway. We do have another citizen, so I think we are delaying our treasury by another four turns and getting another specialist in here. Previous ruler is still governing the city. Problem is, if he dies, then we don't have another good governor. I mean, that's only five, only five points of science. He didn't get, didn't get that much wisdom during his reign. Yep. So more than a stun. We aren't getting much more than a stun out of this. If 
but we have more damage on his big melee unit down here than he has so the forests are favoring us he can of course shoot past it against this but I think with the stunner we can gain control here until he moves more units in yep that's about it this is also ongoing do we want to fulfill that? 20 years. If we take this, if we take steel, the African elephant is another 200. Then we aren't getting that, and the African elephant is slow. And there's not enough units to stun with panic. Can potentially push something out of the forests. I think we're going for the um, constitution that also gives us uh, navigation faster since navigation is in the following draw. I think that's better. And we want to keep enough civics for that. Alright, that's it. See you soon. Turn 37, notable things happened. He now has his leader as a general, and of course, a tactician leader as general can stun units. So we definitely don't want this guy stunned. Also have choice a spouse, a, a spouse for our son, Duke Astyagus. A scholar who's pious, which gives 5% culture, which would be nice for a governor or a cleric city, uh, or a judge who is proud, so she will just basically hate people forever. So we will go with the pious scholar. And now we need to escape here. We're going to flip those units just to gain a move. Force march this guy into this forest. Move this guy over here. Flip this guy even closer to our borders and put this guy on a hill. He's a three scene, so he gets a border bonus from a hill. Force march this guy over here. And then we will begin chopping this worker. Chop with this worker. Start a barracks. Chop, chop, and start a mine. Move this guy over here to start a monastery there. Start a quarry here. Harvest these camels, poke inside the city, bounce, bounce out. Move these units away from the front. I have no idea where his units are, and I want to be as much into my territory as possible. They will not be invisible on my lands. They will be invisible uh, in neutral lands, and I'm going to get border expansion soon anyway. And I want to be able to start moving this guy slowly down here if I need to. If he's going to pressure or something, I am going to want to be able to come down here as well. Really need that border boost to connect this up to give myself a lot of movement across this inner lake here. I think that's it for this turn. Uh, I also rallying again. Really should have rallied last time. Um, yeah, let's see here. Maybe we can move the move this guy and then we'll move this guy one more just to keep our strongest units on their way south potentially if need be and then we'll start this worker here eventually we'll want walls in susa so we'll remind ourselves on turn 30 uh i guess 45 and likewise here baktra probably going to build another worker there uh, but yeah consider walls Walls for border cities are going to be very important. Uh, we cannot afford them at the moment, I think. 150, actually, you know what? We can sell some of this food. We can totally afford walls here. Let's do that. That is going to be much more important. Um, and probably want to get walls in Ectabana. Ectabana on turn 39 as well. Um, it's going to be super, super important. Make the city very, very hard to take. Uh, not that I expect him to take it, but he already has spoked wheel and chariots. So he's a little bit ahead of me there. Uh, we have clear cut a lot of forest here. Um, we'll probably go start a garrison, maybe. How much is a garrison again? Might start a shrine next turn. Try and garrison something like that. Want to connect this over. So I think, yeah, shrine, cleric. Uh, next turn seems reasonable. I wanted to prioritize the barracks so I can get another officer 
up and running, uh, this city will need to get up and running as well. So this will be one production city. This will be another production city. I don't really have another place with horses, do I? This one, so this one, or th so one, two, three. Um, and then we can consider like a fourth production city or something. So Rax Artist, potentially. You can see the importance of stone here. Um, I thought about chopping aggressively outside Susa. I don't think it's worth it. It's also very, very dangerous to do so because I don't know where his units are. Uh, and he has enough units in there that he could kill something. Uh, if I leave it isolated and losing a worker would be incredibly painful. There's also really no need to. He's clearly established dominance over the site. There's really nothing I can do about it right now. Um, I would be surprised if he chases here. He can get all the way here with a normal march. And then he could. I mean, he could come here and stun. It's not going to do very much damage. This thing can come here. So he'd have to force march in order to do five damage. And I've got friends coming over here. And yeah, I mean, I, I could lose that pill test. Uh, but he's going to be not enforced, and I will be enforced. So, yeah. So I don't know. I wouldn't expect him to push, but we will find out. If he does, I should have enough to force march this somewhat over here. So that's part of the reason I made these moves. I want to get these units um, over here. Really, really need that border boost to connect this lake up. It is not great right now. Using a mine, because I really need more mines at the moment. Just do not have enough, and I'm good on food. Even though, like these would be wonderful to upgrade, I think part of the game of the balance. The balance of the game is, just, I think, it's important not to just randomly upgrade whatever the resources are when you're pretty good on a resource. Because um, this set food only sells for three, and of course this sells for, see, so sells for three, where this buys for five. So unless the price of food is double the price of iron, it does not make sense uh, to do that. So we somehow burn through all our 55 orders or something on this turn. Who knew? Uh, and we'll set ourselves a reminder to tutor in 10 turns on turn 47 and on turn 50 and on turn 53. Just to remember, because, uh, yeah, easy to forget. But we have our granddaughter and Princess Roxana is kicking ass. So hopefully we'll stabilize because I would really like to focus on my economy. I'm pretty sure I have an order advantage. Uh, so this is really stopping his development. I'm a little worried by this chariot with a hero on it, um, but I've pulled back my forces in the north and gotten these guys out as far as I can. Um, this chariot, of course, can't quite come down here, so if he does challenge, I can potentially come down here, um, but hopefully I can just safely retreat to my borders. Um, he can also come after this guy. I don't really care if this guy dies. Um, I mean, obviously, I would prefer not to, but yeah, we will have two force marches if need be, and I'm not quite sure how far this guy can get, but hopefully we'll, we should be able to at least get in range and dissuade him against doing things to these units. All right, that is a lot. Sending this one back, definitely a very technical turn, um, but yeah, the tactician, I did see it. Um, I did not expect him to abdicate. To get it. Um, he's also probably wanting to have him as a general, if I'm understanding his city science play. So, sorry, as a governor, if I'm understanding his city science play. Um, but uh, yeah, we definitely want to get Porcolis up and running, get some of our scouts. I think I'm okay vision wise. Um, but yeah, um, we probably want to. Uh, I want to get a hamlet here. I don't want to build over the citrus, although you know what? The citrus is just a food resource. We've got plenty of food, so we should build a hamlet over that, I think. Um, it also is not a luxury, so don't really care that much. And better than building on these precious hills. All right. Uh, yeah, let's send this one back. Turn 37. And. By the looks of it, he has backed up. This is was a force march even. So this is good for us. So he is um, 
a bit intimidated by my tactician leader, I guess. But also, as we've seen, we are now listed as similar. We finished a warrior here. So that's kind of good news. But just because we're listed here as similar, like this, uh, while we went past the threshold, he still probably has a quite a bit more. But I'm having chariots with route. That's worth a lot. So I've queued up some moves. I think we are solving some of the events. This is one is um, a point of wisdom for sister. The other option was affable. We choose wisdom. Then this was um, we got a sunborn. Then we are moving the settler down. This is out of reach of his units. He moved those units even back, so he might be sending them down here to strengthen his force down here, maybe, or just sending them in the back. But uh, I'm not too sure. So then we are attacking here. Actually, at the end of all these moves, we're moving this to the other side of the river. So we did not get a penalty for that. Attack here. Can bring this onto the hill since we're hill promoted and don't want to front line with our tactician. Let's get stunned. This is exactly 50%, so we can repeat this. We keep um, this unit hidden. Uh, hidden attack gets 10% um, attack bonus. So it's possible to use this here, but we don't need more. This is three, so we can, even without, he might force march these troops in, but, he, but since he has been upgrading and force marching here, he will probably be low on force marcher, so I doubt he can just get in here and claim the, um, claim the city side for himself. And I will probably need to force march this settler onto the side next turn. Not quite sure where we want to found. This makes the city side somewhat more vulnerable. But we're having zone of control here, and we can block with a unit here or here, depending on what he brings. Can of course put the city here. This will give us access to the marble straight away. Also mean we are kind of safe from these tiles, although he has plenty of ranged units, so the river is not that much of a deterrent. Although here are no hills, here one, two, three. So probably settling here. No, this was the wrong button. Then we have a potential ambition. We are eventually finishing a treasury here to present probably settling statesmen here, which will net us um, four treasuries, but I'm not looking to build treasuries anytime soon. I don't have the free building time right now. Then um, we need to deal with this. Uh, this unit has targets in range, so it shouldn't move and plunder, but attack. We kill it's two attacks for both. So we kill the um, melee unit first that would attack our worker. If both attack here, that's two points of damage. So healing two times will work. Now we have two 
all is left. Yeah, I think we need to grab some settlers. I don't think that worker makes much of a difference. Let's buy the food for another settler. And we have five workers doing nothing, which is about all our workers. Guess we are starting this. And with that, I could turn this into a military city. But then I could do this here as well. And that's uh, more of our goal here. We don't have the culture to to rush. The problem is still he is on ten cities, which is double what we have. So assuming there's no other center city. Since there's water here, he probably has his whole side covered. So hopefully he is kind of bankrupting himself with all the maintenance from his cities as well as the mercenaries he has. We are paying 20 and he doesn't have the luxury of Carthago and I don't see that many gold resources maybe there's a bunch here but they shouldn't be improved for him so hopefully he is deep in the red that's the only thing I can hope for in this situation We are missing one strength and I'm not looking forward to grabbing a fighting promotion, a fighting trade. And we're still very much limited on limited on orders. So yep. Next turn rhetoric, navigation is in the full drop higher, so everything new goes in the discard, so we have navigation available next turn. I did probably switch to um, specialists too early, I needed another settler or two out of the city. Like with how few growth the next city had, this, um, I needed one or two more settlers out of the city. But now we are building our settlers here and we need to keep trajectory. If our, we don't have any tutors unfortunately since we abdicated and our merchant died. But we are getting this up, but as we are on stages, this isn't the biggest income. We don't have that many specialists yet. But our civics production is also not that good. So. Hopefully. We can keep intimidate him to back off and consolidate our side and get into a standoff that would probably benefit me more he has still one law he has not he has started the pyramids right 
was this this turn finished uh, probably last turn pyramids is a 10 turn build time so last turn yes he is severely ill so he's probably going to die but as we already know, he has another orator lined up that's also already on 8 Charisma, on, t on the young age of 22. So this can even can go even higher. Only one trait picked up. Does he have? This is granddaughter. And down here we have a builder. Something Persia is usually short of. Hunter builder. So he can use that to bring his uh, capital up in terms of uh, military buildings. Do I see other borders? This is cleric, surprisingly, despite, despite the camels, but it's one of the initial cities. He has found this is clerics, goes to clerics, so... Wait, these are all clerics? So he's found his statesman to the south, I guess. Probably here. This is not the statesman seat, no, it's just regular statesman city. Yeah, anyway, enough deliberations. Uh, let's finish this and see you soon. Turn 38, we're going to assign our son as Chancellor, pick a border boost. Looks like Frederick did not attack us. We're going to move forces back, heal up, upgrade this one, get this one slowly it's out of out of danger. Chop, chop, start a mine because we need mines. We do not have very much iron income. Start a mine here. Move this guy in position for border boost. Move this guy in position for border boost. Pull these guys south just to have them in range. Scout around. Seven marble. Probably not worth the harvest. Might get a harvesting event though. For now, I just want to finish exploring this, be in position. Uh, so let's see what Border Boost gives us. The way to show this is you uncheck Border Boost, and then you can see the tiles it grabs. So in the south here, it's going to grab us a lot of terrain here, including these delicious mountain tiles that will part of the reason I'm going for a quarry here is because it feels like we're going to have quite enough mountain tiles after it grabs all these, so uh, I don't have that many. I have some hills, but I'd rather get some, get more hills up running because we're, we're kind of unbalanced, so we're going to need more iron, especially if we want to get Ishtar or Lighthouse. Both of those take iron. Obviously, we want more stone as well, um, and we definitely need food and iron for a unique unit and for Katas. Elder Officer here, that'll line up nicely to start another Elder Officer there, and we'll have growth there just in time as well. Um, yeah, Frederick is naive. Um, do not have an agent there. Definitely want to get one there. Um, this looks like it'll grab our marble, which we'd love to happen. It doesn't look like this is actually going to collapse the borders. We could potentially specialist here and then Hamlet, Hamlet here, which will grab that tile. That so if we Hamlet, so Specialist, Hamlet, that'll grab this tile. Hamlet here, that'll grab this tile. And then it should connect because these things do one apart. So awkward Hamlet there um, in three years and a Hamlet here after the Specialist. But we can consider the Specialist. Um, we'll see where the border boost actually goes. It tends to vary a little bit. Uh, like if I start a shrine here, the border boost this is really weird. If I start a shrine here, the border boost now shows that it'll expand here, which is better from my perspective. So I can start the shrine and cancel and restart it one tile over, maybe? I don't know. I just want to collapse these borders. So cancel the shrine and move over one. Really not. Oops. Cancel the shrine and then move over one. Really not sure what's going on here. And similarly, if I start here, suddenly the border boost, the border boost does not change either. So we'll start it. 
we'll see what it actually grabs, and we may need to cancel and restart, um, potentially. So and it'll grab these camels, which is very, very nice. So um, yeah. Other than that, we'll keep pulling in its back. Probably want to rally next year as well. We're running a lot of civics. Um, Pyramids is eight years away. We're getting another worker. Um, that worker will probably start mines, Sardis. Right? Yeah. You know, got a lot of orders at the moment as well. So I think that's pretty much it. Um, and I definitely think I want to go for Port Collis next, potentially. We'll see what our draw pile is. Free Settler is not very useful for us. Free Chariot isn't. I can see Rhetoric or Port Collis as our next plays. Navigation is also feasible to get us a fourth law. Uh, Mother Rhetoric is also a fourth law and gets us toward sovereignty, which is what we actually want. And laws in eight years, basically, because we want to conserve our civics. All right, I think that's it for this turn. I wouldn't expect Frederick to come chase this guy so we can safely retreat. And with the border boost, we may even be able to venture out here. Um, although with the stun, it's gonna be somewhat challenging, um, but we could see potential damage here. Uh, it will be a little awkward with the stun. I have no idea where his other units are, but um, it's now similar power as well, which is, shall we say troubling. Um, that means he's producing normal units, which I am not. Um, so, yeah, these units, I'll need to keep an eye on where they go. Um, this city will have walls in four. Should be okay. I definitely need to get these connected so I can move freely here and, and basically be able to go wherever I need to. Um, this chariot can come quite a ways. We move this one more over, I think. Actually, yeah, we'll move it to onto that hill. That gets me decent coverage um, in case he wants to attack. All right, we'll gain seven D gold from the orders. Um, yeah, rally next turn. Definitely want to start production here. This should be nicely elder officered up um, to produce. Should have a nice line to the front here. At some point, we'll want to consider roads as well, connecting some of our cities together. Otherwise, feeling decent here. All right, let's go ahead and send this one back. Definitely want to get a, a agent into this city ASB, which I think, given that I know he's going for a science strata, I figured it out at this point, we should definitely get Portcullis to benefit from that city science. So I think Prio Portcullis next turn as well. 39. Okay, um, another thing to consider here is Byrim in the lake. You can't rush, but a Byrim, well, we don't have navigation, so that's also out. Uh, so we can ignore that. Eventual Byrim. Trireme would be very powerful, basically let us, if we sit a Trireme here, we have connection pretty much everywhere over here. He doesn't have anything that can build on this lake, so this is my private lake. Although this is his private lake, so that doesn't, yeah. His, yeah, so. Okay. Um, yeah, cool. Let's uh, go ahead and send this one back. And turn 38. Look. Looking at the situation, we see that he has retreated and is upgrading. He has also moved his good troops up here downwards. So by the looks of it, he's trying to either concentrate his units here for a possible attack, or he still has some site that he wants to clear. Although this would be a good time 
to know the relation between uh, victory points and uh, the number of city sites on the map because he has still 10 cities, 5 more than myself and we both hold one of the center city sites and I have 4 here so if we exclude those five, those five, so he has five additional, including this. So he has four additional sites somewhere in the fog. There's one here, there's one where the raid came from, and there could be one or two more, maybe, given, given the space. But can't say that for sure. So. Why I'm talking about this is because I want to send troops here over. I also saw, um, I took a brief look at his action and he sent his scout down here. So there is a risk that he's just buying units in my bag. Or even like when I'm moving troops in and he has bought some units in the back, he can like double up these units to try and prevent me from getting some of these settlements and if he's posting uh, posturing aggressively here I can't really move too many units away so we'll have to see well what he actually does with these units hopefully I can um, intimidate him enough with my tactician that he doesn't actually try to threaten I can of course have um, my range units everywhere in these um, forests so he doesn't quite know my real strength he only knows that I'm now still similar in power so let's see we have a research to choose we take of course navigation then we enact epics could also kind of justify exploration as that should give me the extra movement to reach this this turn there's also some rivers around here that we can use, maybe, for movement. I think overall, like, our culture is really, really bad. So, I'm taking epics. In this case, so we are starting to clean up our radars and um, secure the city site. I was contemplating. Um, using some workers here, getting since you retreated from here, I'm getting these horses online. Might be able to build the horse rancher here, which is also pretty good in terms of um, territory gained. Although building this rancher also not the worst in terms of territory. And the settler down here, contemplating um, force marching this, but as he's retreated, even with force march, there's no way he contests the site in his coming turn, so we leave it at that and instead do a bit more worker movement. And then we're moving this a bit back, maybe trying to move in here to clear this, but we'll have to watch. The problem is we kind of have to watch this closely, but I also want to move a scout <laughs> over here to um, start clearing the fog, so it's maybe maybe using this scout which will also mean he will see him as we have some turns outside the forests so we will now be moving the scout away here losing vision if he pays attention to this and uh, the replay But we already spent all our orders, got some of our workers going, but not uh, all of those. Kind of tempted to use this worker temporarily in here. <coughs> like building this up for decrease is nice. And I kind of want this eventually, but really I need to get um, these two cities online in terms of culture and um, barracks, barracks and strongholds. But for stronghold, but even for the stronghold for our first tier of unique units for our elephants, we need at least developing culture, and we are so far away from that still. It's 
really a problem. So, like the orders still take priority, but we need epics also. So, looking at the discard. Okay, this gets discarded, so it gets shuffled into the next draw pile. So we have a decent chance of drama returning earlier. Problem is with uh, sovereignty, since we do want to elect constitution if those come up at the same time. So accumulating a bit of training, but not that much. And this production is taking up some of our training. We're looking to upgrade these two. This is already 240 for the next level of both of them. The thing is, if he's actually moving in, I cannot... Uh, usually I would um, upgrade one fully before going for the next, but if he's actually moving in and in two turns, I don't think I have the luxury of doing that. I also have no idea if I can... Um, <coughs> if I become visible when I upgrade. <coughs> so, we'll have to see. The good thing here is I can place my tactician in the forest and he can um, like first strike, like alpha strike him off the field to get rid of the tactician stun. And if I can place myself in a forest or on a hill, I have some good defense, especially these forests. Like it's kind of a, also a disadvantage of having them moved out of the way when his units move on top of them, since um, that means I cannot hold these tiles since I will be invisible. I can Only the melee units can hold tiles on these forests without being pushed off. But we'll make it work somehow. Getting an extra 10% attack as well as having the tactician be untargetable until we choose to engage is quite an advantage still, I think. So. <coughs> this will take another two turns and then some quite a bit of healing. That's another six points of damage. Or a bit less if we attack if we are standing on a stronghold next turn. Okay. Settler on the way. Set uh, three more settlers in production. Probably need at least another two, one or two. Another one to match his city count, and probably one more. Assuming there's no other center city side, so if I can secure my side, even if it's delayed from him, then we are looking at a decent position. Of course, the order difference is quite big. Him being a robust Pearl Horator. He's still severely ill, did not get doomed yet. Looking forward to him losing uh, his first ruler, just because even if he has another Orator in the pipeline, he'll at least he'll lose robust. Although um, the daughter has two perks still open, so. There's still a chance he'll get other strong traits. While I'm stuck, stuck on the tactician with a pathfinder that doesn't have many resources. And the next strength, I'm not sure if the if I'm taking a combat trait while on the unit. I'm also tempted, like at least when the this guy dies, I'm looking to 
put my tactician in here. Problem is that this means I have a one turn delay if he actually moves forward. But it's a decently defensible position in here, so I should have time to reassign him if need be. Thing is, he can like even if the slinger is hidden, he you can look at the enemy ruler and see his what he's assigned to. Like we can see, he is the governor in Parsa, so he will see if I'm sudden if he pays attention and, and still and looks at my leader. Uh, see me uh, every turn or every few turns, he will notice that I'm assigned as governor and no longer as general. That's it for this turn. Looking to settle next turn here. Getting some workers done. Workers uh, working again or healing again. Not healing here because he will take another point of damage. Um, I don't want to spend the order to move him out. So also might be the case that I just let this worker heal by itself by himself because I don't know. Like I'm still very much limited on orders and there's not that many high value buildings I'm can, I can currently build here until I unlock the other urban buildings. So another farm here maybe. Maybe another granary but we're kind of short on wood. Also adding too many granaries will keep draining our wood and we want wood for the museum eventually. So, we can build this and could theoretically build this in 10 turns, but I doubt we are anywhere close to having these resources. We have, I have a lot of money to invest, but I'm also looking to buy some more mercenaries, so and that will probably be somewhere like in the ballpark of 700 to 800 for the next mercenary. So without any actual stone income, that's uh, probably not happening. And then we, I need to chop a lot of wood or buy the wood as well. Yeah. At least, um, I mean, we we chat out a bit, so he knows I'm kind of doing a city-based science strategy, but I don't think he has the museum on his radar. To, so he's probably not aiming to take that away from me, at least uh, quite yet, <laughs> maybe in the next game. <laughs> so yeah, that's about it for this turn, see you soon.